Hi and welcome to SkyTech Gaming's mini-series where we take a look at each individual components of your computer, what they do, and how everything works to get you the best performance for your system. My name is Chris and in this episode we will be talking about your system memory, also known as your RAM, and how it contributes to your overall system performance and how much you need in case you want to upgrade the ones in your system. Let's get started. So we're talking about system memory. What is it? What does it do? And how much of it should a decent system have to be able to keep up with tasks that the PC has advertised to do? Let's answer these questions first before we let you know if you need to upgrade. So stick to the end of the video to find out. RAM or random access memory is one of the key components in your system that contributes to overall performance. These modules gives applications a place to store and access data on a short term basis. It temporarily stores the information your system and apps are actively using so that it can be accessed faster than if it were to read it from your hard drive. Look, I'm sure we've all been there where we open up an internet browser and had to wait quite a while for it to launch. This is evident especially on older systems where less RAM is combined with slower processors. This happens because the slow processor speed is retrieving the data needed for the application to launch and storing it temporarily on a RAM, where some older systems may just have 4 or 8 gigabytes as it was the standard back then. But as time goes by and all applications become optimized to use more of the system memory to provide you with a faster and lag-free experience, most older systems are left with these struggles and will most likely need an upgrade to be able to keep up or run the newer programs if at all. Okay, so back to the questions. Can I download more RAM? No, God! Moving on, do I need more RAM? Well, the answer to this is kind of subjective to what the system's desired purpose will be. If the system is built to be in an office environment used for accessing emails, word processors, video conferencing softwares, and the occasional solitaire and minesweeper, most of the time, 8 gigabytes of system memory is enough to handle the workload. Just don't open 300 tabs on your browser at once. On the other hand, if you are getting a system for gaming, streaming, content creation, 3D designing, and video and photo editing, these are applications that will need 16 gigabytes and upwards as they need to handle more processes and be able to retrieve data quickly from the memory as you edit your clips and games load up their settings and maps. So from there, you can figure out what you will be asking your system to do. And by doing so, you will have a better idea of how much system memory you will need. If you are upgrading your system memory, do not mix and match brands and speed. Do your research and find out if your system uses DDR3, DDR4, or even the newest DDR5 and get the correct model for your system. You can often find the spec of the module on their stickers attached to the side of it so you can use that as a reference when buying new memory modules. Your system's memory configuration matters a lot too. That's why you see most of these modules sold as kits of 2 or 4 depending on the total size. Last and not least, here's a simple guide on how your system memory should be installed. If you are upgrading to 16 gigabytes from 8, which consists of two modules, install them on the second and fourth slot from the processor. If you are doing 32 gigabytes in a four module configuration, use the previous step and then install the third module on the first slot and the last module on the third slot from the processor. This will make sure your memory modules are configured in dual channel mode, which will yield the fastest possible results. You do not need to worry about these on certain motherboard configurations such as ITX form factors as they only have two slots on them. Well, I hope this video is helpful to some of you who are thinking about upgrading your system memory and helps you choose the right upgrade path for your system should you decide to do so. Once again, my name is Chris. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.